let me just talk about the reading. The first five cards deal with your love life and it looks amazing. The second five cards deal more with your general energy, what's going on with you in other sectors of your life. So these are two separate spreads, okay? And treat them as separate spreads. So um, let's just go into your reading. Big wish fulfillment coming in. Somebody that you've been eyeing, that you've... Um, <laughs> when I see the star, I think of it as like um, physical attraction, sexual attraction. Um, but it just it doesn't just end there. It's not just, you know, looking for a fling. It's somebody that you have a very heartfelt soul connection with. You might be on the same path. You might be on the same destiny. You might in, be in the same career track. You might have a lot of similarities where your ideals, your values, and you know your life path are really in alignment with one another. I have here uh, the completion. This is like the emotional, the, the apex of emotional uh, well-being, okay? Somebody that you really, really love, they're coming in fast for you. So I have here an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Arising. This is somebody that's going to make themselves known to you, somebody who's coming to your rescue, who's going to be there through thick and thin and to make sure that you are taken care of and to express how they really, truly feel for you. And I feel like there has been a lot of dithering back and forth. Does he like me? Does she like me? Or, uh, you know, do they like me? Do they not like me? There has been a lot of rumination. Should I go with this relationship? They seem a little bit, um, I, I want to say, like, many of you are very blunt. Sagittarius people are very blunt with their words. But I feel like this person is even more blunt than you are. So I feel like you're kind of... Um, cautious like do I really want to date this person um, there might be situations family cultural differences even um, family values expectation one person might want kids the other person might want freedom and you you factored all of this into the equation but I feel like they're coming in they're making their intentions known there's a really strong physical uh, attraction between the two of you there's a very strong emotional bond and there's just a lot of combustible you know exciting energy between the emotional exchange so if you're wondering am I gonna get physically intimate with somebody this is the week where things happen where where it's like the turn the the wheels of fate are is turning and you're gonna be able to get into that uh, that rapture of a relationship with another person. So this looks really, really, really good. Keep in mind, these are like weekly readings, so the energy is very short. So I'm not looking at it as, you know, is this a soulmate connection? And I feel like it definitely can be because this is uh, indicating um, like positive karma, positive um, past life connections even things where you know you were trying to do things the right way and you um, you didn't succumb to your baser desires you saw the the grander scheme and the bigger vision and and you saw the bigger picture and you did things the right way so I feel like many of you are being handsomely rewarded with the love relationship or with somebody that is just as honest and and directed as you are and just as blunt as you are and so the two of you there is a really good union that can be had for this week and it's coming together in a very it's just I see a lot of passion I see a lot of passion I see a lot of chemistry I see a lot of emotional fulfillment here so this is the whole package that you're uh, you've been waiting on okay so if you've been waiting they're coming into the picture and they're coming in very fast um, they're they're very very fast so this is somebody who is like a champion of justice who's very righteous very moral um, the only, I don't see anything negative about this card, and honestly, I feel like it's somebody that will make their intentions known, right? And you like clarity. You like people to be, um, to say what's on their mind, to, you don't, you don't like people who are wishy-washy, and so this is exactly the energy that you, that would jive very well with yours, okay? So there's a lot of um, sexual energy, honestly, in this spread, okay? So... Having said that, let's talk about the other aspects. So let's talk about the other things that are going to be coming in for you uh, for this week. First of all, career, work, the mundane stuff. Um, I feel like for many of you, you're juggling two jobs. You're juggling two jobs, and it has been very, very difficult. 
um, you work really hard as well and you're starting to see things really pay off for you you work really hard you took charge you took initiative um, you uh, this is a card overall about someone who's very ambitious they don't step over people in order to achieve their goals. They lead people. They encourage people. People trust them. So it's not somebody who's conniving. It's not somebody who will throw other under the bus. And so your energy is very pure. You've worked really, really hard to cultivate good relationships with the people that you work with. And you've worked really hard for many of you juggling, you know, possibly school and work, possibly two jobs, Possibly even um, you might even have a job offer that's going to be coming into the picture and you're trying to weigh out the pros and cons. Do I stay here where things are really stable and I'm able to grow and grow and grow? Or do I move to the next relation, um, not relationship, excuse me, or do I move on with the new job offer? Because emotionally it's going to allow me to grow. So I feel like you're doing this checklist, pros and cons. Should I stay or should I go? Can I juggle both jobs? Can I do both things? But either way, I feel like this is a big week for rewards. For those of you who have really, really struggled, trying to make ends meet, trying to go to school, trying to maintain your equilibrium, I feel like you're going to be handsomely rewarded in the love front and also in the relationship, um, in, in the love front, also in the work front, because you've done things the right way. So good karma coming back for you, and, and, and it's going to be like um, multiplying tenfold. And so you're getting some really, really good things coming into the picture. For others who even uh, could not successfully um, could not successfully make ends meet, you might have like a financier, you might have a helper, you might have family members and friends that are chipping in to help you financially. If you're not able to make ends meet, so you're going to see some type of a reprieve, you're going to see assistance, you're going to see as well, you know, um, it's, it's like divinely guided, people who are divinely guided to come into your life at this time to assist you. And they come in from a space of love. And if they're assisting you, be open to the, 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 the gifts that they offer. Don't be so proud and you turn your back on them. If they're uh, offering you emotional help, take it. If they're offering you financial assistance, take it. Don't be too proud, okay? Um, as a Sagittarius moon, I know that sometimes, you know, we're stubborn and we want to do things our way. And we kind of uh, don't like to be a burden on other people because we feel in some way that if we take this um, assistance, it comes with strings attached or that we owe them something and then we don't want to be burdened by obligation, right? But I feel like it's coming from a very sincere place, so accept it, okay? Um, I keep seeing as well, you know, you're happy where you are, you're building rapport, you're helping people, you're, you have really good um, communication and you have really, really good, um, this is an opportunity for learning and growth. So where you are, you feel like I could learn more, I need to stay put so I can grow, I can learn, I can be in this supportive environment and then I can launch off once I'm ready so you feel like you're not just ready just yet for that next step but the next step is already coming in with an offer and so you're not really sure like what do I do okay so that's in the extreme cases but I feel like for most of you um, your head's in the right place it's like your your drive and your ambition and your emotions are kind of finally in alignment because a lot of the times let's be honest um, we work at cross purposes with ourselves Sagittarius and what we want versus what we need are rarely in alignment. But I feel like this is the week where, you know, it's also the end of the uh, Mercury retrograde period where you are starting to see, you know, the fog has lifted. You know what you want. You know what your, what your calling is. And you know how to allow your uh, professional goals to line up with your emotional needs. So that means figuring out what type of work you want to do who you want to build with and where you want to be to make this happen to to kind of like um, get yourself to the point where you're not at cross purposes with yourselves anymore okay so 
this is probably one of the best readings um, of all the signs that I've done. And I feel like many of you, you have um, done a lot of work on yourself. There has been a lot of healing. There has been a lot of like breaking new grounds, charting new territories, stepping out of your comfort zone. And you have an opportunity here that's allowing you to step out of your comfort zone on the professional front. You also have an opportunity here that's allowing you to go after something finally. That's going to um, allow you to break out of your emotional comfort zone. It's going to bring so much gratification and, and love and happiness and healing as well as, you know, a spark of passion. There is so much chemistry here. Um, it's going to be a very good week. Okay, Sagittarius, I'm so happy to see this for you guys. And... Um, I wish you all the best, okay? Take care of yourself, and um, I'll be back next week. Hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Hopefully it resonates, and uh, I'm, I can't be more happy for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.